Okay, here's another video um, showcasing my Blu-ray Steelbook collection. And as you can see, it's of the movie um, X2, um, X-Men United. I don't know why um, it's been given that title, but um, I think in America, people can correct me in the comment section if I'm incorrect, that in America, the sequel to X-Men is just simply known as X2. And I guess that they're probably thinking that um, people in the UK are going to be a bit too stupid enough not to realise that it's the sequel to X-Men. So they added X-Men United just to um, make it um, assure us that it's an X-Men movie. Now, this isn't the first version of X-Men 2 that I've actually, um, I actually own. Initially, I had this copy of it, which I still have. This is the one I watch. And... Again, bizarrely, different title. Um, this one is called X-Men 2. And in the corner it says X2, just to make sure, you know, that they, um, you know, that they haven't totally lost the um, the title of the American version of um, the title. But yeah, it's really bizarre that the Blu-ray um, normal version of it is um, called X-Men 2. And then this still book is called X2, um, X-Men United. It's a similar thing where... Um, in America, um, Fast and, uh, was it, um, in the Fast and Furious movies, um, it's known as Fast 7, but in the UK, it's, it's called Fast and the Furious 7, just in case we don't understand that. Similar thing with Avengers, um, the first movie that came out, obviously, there's a, it was a Avengers um, TV series, and they probably didn't want to think people um, that they would confuse the old um, 50s, 60s um, show of the Avengers with um, the Marvel Avengers God, oh, I don't know, but anyway, but anyway, um, as I said before, I owned the, I owned this one first, and what I do love about it is obviously that the artwork, as you can see, is totally different, which is kind of cool, um, it does come with a slip cover, which I've always, um, said a state in my videos that I love, um, Blu-rays that come with slip covers, I don't know what it is, there's something about it, I do actually have um, a few DVDs that actually have slip covers as well, and it's, I don't know, there's something about it, especially if they have different artwork, but back to the still book, and then we'll go back to the normal Blu-ray, because there actually is a slight difference, um, I got this from Zavi, um, when they used to do, many, many, many years ago, when they used to do um, free deliveries on their um, on their um, items, now they're graphics to two ninety nine now. I think I don't know. It's probably gone up or it hasn't. It's the same. And this was in a sale, and I think I, and then I was lucky enough to get uh, at the time to get X the v, X Men one, then obviously X two, and then I did get. Um, I'll show you briefly the third instalment of well, not to say the Brian Singer's one because it wasn't. It was directed by. Um, Brat Ratner, um, that's the steelbook, so I've got the original um, trilogy, as it were, as steelbooks, put it back in, um, what's really great about this, again, is you've got a little cover here, which matches up with um, Wolverine's um, Alimantium Claws, I know some people get rid of these little things, but I, I tend to keep them, um, First of all, I'd say um, the artwork is absolutely stunning, I would say, in my honest opinion. There's something about the, the blue um, and silver that they actually use on the actual um, artwork itself. Funnily enough, right, there's no um, Cyclops on the cover of both versions of, um, as you can see, um, the lineup is actually a little bit different, it is a little bit different on here. And this one's got Rogue and Mystique added to it. Nightcrawler's on the other one. And but the only common thing that with this one is that you still have Wolverine and um Storm on sorry, Wolverine and Storm on the front. Because also I suggest that, that people consider them the most popular characters. And that you know, I just noticed that Storm's hair looks very different. <clears throat> kind of looks different in that one and that one of rolls the same length. But anyway, um, what I do like about what they've done with this is obviously I support the colours where you've got the black with the suit. Um, 
And then obviously we've got the blue and a little bit of blacks here and there. And we've got the silver, the claws, of, this, and with the black suit and the claws of these alimentum claws. The something about it, that colour makes it really strike and that makes it actually stand out. Um, especially with the claws on both sides. Something about it, um, the symbol X2 and and um, X-Men United are actually debossed. That's really, that's really cool. Um, the only thing <clears throat> missing, um, and I, I've said this many a time before on Steelbooks, is that I wish this did have a gloss finish because I think this would have looked and um, would have looked spectacular. That would have been a perfect ice in the case. Don't get me wrong, I love the artwork on this, but it, I would have loved a, a gloss finish that would have really given it given it that little bit of pomp um, in terms of the actual artwork. And I don't know, I just I just love gloss artwork. It's just me, but again, I still like it and I don't regret buying it. But when I got this from said before, I managed to pick up the three of them. I don't remember buying them all at the same time. But I think when I got um, those three X-Men movies, I think I got them in a sale. So normally they used to, still used to go for about maybe 15, 20 pounds. And then sometimes Zavi would do sales for 4 99 And you have to be very quick to snap them up before um, other people would cotton on. And then pray that um, that the copy, um, your copy of the store wouldn't be damaged. Because sometimes you'd get dents and then um, cuts on the actual spine of the actual store, which I know that... Used to happen a lot with Zavi. Don't know if that is now because I haven't, I haven't used them in years. And the still books now are very expensive. Look at the back here. Oh, we do have cycles at the back here. And um, Charles Xavier, Magneto, and it looks like Iceman and and um, Jean Grey. And I do like that. Um, obviously that Storm doing her thing, and then you've got the Bluebird. It does look. It does actually look look really great. To be honest, I, I do say so myself. But yeah, one of my favourites. And then you have got the X two, there X Men United. We'll open this up. Obviously, no digital copy because um, not even with that one. I don't remember it having. And we've got there's something going to be very familiar about this particular Blu ray disc. Um, you've got the Blu ray disc. Again, with slightly different artwork, you've got Wolverine, art, different artwork to what's on the um, cover um, of the still book. But it does look exactly the same as the cover of the slip cover of this, of the original Blu-ray. And then you've got um, Cyclops there, firing his blast there. That does look really cool. I do like the fact that they bothered to put artwork in it rather than, them, you know, some of some... Um, still books being a bit lazy where they don't put anything on it and it's just a plain silver finish which i don't like now what i clear, what i stated earlier on that this was a one disc now what's gonna be really weird is that obviously you've got this with a slip cover again as i said before i owned the normal version at first i don't know i didn't use the double dip on still books unless it was a film that i really liked and Obviously, X Men Two is my favourite, and also the price because I'm not paying full whack um, to to double dip on something. Sometimes I've bought the still book version of a movie first, and then bought the Blu Ray version of it because I I want to watch the Blu Ray version of it, um, the, the standard version, of it, and rather than keep pulling out and using um, the still book version of it, um, in case if I damage it or dent it, so sometimes I buy them vice versa. And again, it's to do price. Again, same artwork. That's on the cover, the slip cover. Now, what you'll notice, I'm ready, so much straight, um, very familiar is. We can put it to one side. We can open it one hand. It's exactly the same disc. Let me take one out of the um, out of still book because it'll be much easier for you to see. I've got a widescreen camera, which I don't have. As you can see, it's exactly the same disc. Now, the difference is that on the normal standard version of X, then you can see that it's labeled disc one, as you can clearly see. But there's a second disc, I have you wonder. And what the second disc is basically is, is that you get the movie on the first disc, and you get a whole bunch of extras on the second disc, which I, which I remember watching many, many years ago. And there's tons of extras behind the scene feature, it's deleted scenes and stuff like that. But with the Blu-ray steelbook, you don't get the extras, unfortunately. So 
um, I'm really glad that as a subfolder I bought this first and then bought that as a more and then bought the steelbook um, version of this as a collector's item. Now there's no digital copy because it's Fox because they tend not to do that over here in the UK. Obviously now um, Fox is owned by Disney now, so I don't have to get a re I don't know if they've re-released it or whether or not they they've either released them all for four on 4K or they're considering releasing them on 4K. But um, as with X Men One, I'm double checking to see if that's a single still book because I think it is. Let me have a quick look. Yeah, it's really weird because this is X Men one and that has two discs the first disc obviously being the blu-ray i'm having a look yeah all the second disc is on x-men one which again is a, a stunning steel book which i did a video on is the second disc is actually just a dvd um copy of the actual movie it's not anything fancy with you know with having um extras on there on 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 that disc but so but yeah um if you're somebody, um, if you do see this in, see this in your travel, you still uh, see this in your travels. I definitely wouldn't recommend picking it up, if of course it's in good condition and a, and a reasonable price. I don't know how how much this is, this is probably worth now, or um, if they released different variants of this particular movie on, on a still book over the years. This is the, this is the one I own and the only one I have. So again, I don't know if um they've already released the original x-men movies on 4k or if there are um there are 4k versions on disney plus so I, I guess because i don't have disney plus so it's probably gonna look even better than that but yeah i'm really glad that i bought the original um blu-ray version of x-men 2 because i'm somebody that likes um a lot of um extras i'm i'm i, I don't necessarily watch the film for have watched the, the film first and then after i finish watch the extras i tend to sometimes watched in the movie and then later on and maybe later on down the line i watched the extras and especially if they've got lots of goodies in there and feature and i like kind of seeing deleted scenes and behind the scenes of um concept art and um how they you know features and how they make the costumes and how they do the scenes and i'm i like that kind of stuff i know some people don't so you won't be too upset if you don't have the second disc but yeah i'm glad i do have both of them so this is more of a collector's showpiece for me in having so i don't really i don't watch this watch this one i watch um this one so yeah i'm I'm really glad at the time that i was in the right place at those so many years ago at the right place at the right time to pick this up at a, re at a really good price and undamaged them when i received it and then it, believe it, it actually quickly sold out same thing with um x-men um last stand so yeah we're slowly getting through um the x-men movies i've still got quite a few um x-men still books that i can show you and um maybe one day i'll even do a, re a review a review of them and especially obviously now with the re revival of x-men 97 which by the way it's been completely hot loving every single episode of next week i think is the last episode i think especially with the last um the second part the um second part of the of the three part season finale that was quite shocking all i say all i'll say is magneto and it's very um out of the comic books in terms of what he does with a certain character so that was kind of really great the fact that it's been renewed for a second series second season and they've renewed it for a third and there's talks i've heard on the grapevine of a fourth season of um x-men um, 97 but yeah loving the animation love the story loving the um, the artwork the music um, and the fact that they're picking um, a lot of the classic X-Men stories that have happened in the comics, but then adding things and giving it their own unique twist. So, yeah, because obviously with the, um, the X-Men Night 7 coming back now, what better time to showcase my X-Men collection, especially on Steelbook. Anyway, I hope you found this video informative. Um, please feel free to share with your friends and family. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, I really would appreciate that. That would allow people um, to find my YouTube channel and content on the YouTube recommendation page. This is because of the YouTube algorithms which showcase the bigger YouTubers. So the smaller YouTubers like myself don't get a look in. So I really would appreciate that. Also, if you already haven't, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you want to see um, stuff like this for my, my Blu-ray Stillbook collection, um, Blu-rays, 
um, unboxings of um, video games, Blu-rays, DVDs. Um, I've got some art books that I that I, am, that I need to do. Some um, comic book related, some movie related. So I need to sit there and get my skates on and kind of doing that. Obviously, um, video game play at the moment on Twitch. I've been playing Metal Gear um, Solid um, Five: The Phantom Pain. As I've already said, played it before on the PS4. Just playing it again on the PS5. Sorry, the Xbox Series X. So I get the new achievements. So um, subscribe to my, my Twitch channel. I'll put a link in the description box if you want to check that out. Um, so yeah, I do sort of various sort of, sort of, sort of stuff. Um, comic books, um, I'm trying to do a lot more of them. Um, I know recently I've been doing a lot of um, sort of new releases. Um, some recent releases, some... Um, new releases that are new but they've, they've come out a few months ago and um, i do want to um go back to showing um my comic book collection which i know i started doing and i need to finish and i am what i really want want to also showcase my um classic um comics whether it's dc or marvel so i need to sit there and do that so subscribe to my channel if you want to see all of that stuff I and mean, there's plenty there'll be plenty of upcoming content coming up if you want to, if you're a, especially if you're a big superhero fan whether it's dc or marvel so Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel before Chris, um, just before after Chris, just before Christmas, we hit the 500 sub mark. So a big thank you to the subs, old and new. I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. A few weeks ago, we hit, we hit the 600 sub mark. Again, a big thank you to everybody. I really, really appreciate that. I know that um, you know, I've got I've had a couple of trolls here and there being silly, and it's not about me trying to show off or me thinking I'm a know it all. I just like you know, just want to entertain and showcase my um, stuff that other people that may like um, my stuff, whether it's comic book stuff, video games. That's all. That's all I'm about in entertaining people and finding like mind people who like the same sort of stuff I do. That's all it's about. It's nothing serious, especially in this world where there's a lot of stuff, bad stuff going on in this world, and people stressing out. Sometimes you need a little bit of entertainment. Um, obviously during the um the pandemic, um, I I kept myself the same by um watching my movies, TV shows, playing video games, watching other YouTubers, and that kept me. Um, um, you know, entertain during those dark and bleak moments. So that's something that I'm trying to want to do to give back. Um, we're nearly halfway. Um, we're nearly halfway um to 700 subs. So wow, I can't believe it's grown so fast, so quickly. Um, really means a lot. And if I could thank everybody individually, I would. But you know, it's an impossible task to do. So a big thank you to the um to the subs who've been with me for years. And a big thank you to the subs who have um, subscribed to me recently. So, big thank you. Um, the next big milestone will be the 1,000 sub mark, which, I've, which is going to be a long way to go, but one I will get there one day eventually. Um, maybe we'll do some kind of special video um, um, showcasing that, but obviously that's a long way to go. So, yeah, <clears throat> so we've got hope to do get to get to the 1,000 sub mark at one point. So... Hopefully we'll get there at some point, fingers crossed, rather, sooner rather than later. Anyway, it just leads me to say wherever you are in the world, um, please stay safe, please stay entertained, and I'll speak to you again on the next video. Bye for now.